Today we're going to be breaking down the look of the popular film Edge of Tomorrow. Um, this is an action film starring Emily Blunt and Tom Cruise and graded by Peter Doyle. Um, what a legend. Um, he graded The Matrix, most notably for me. I love that film. And I love the grade in that film. So Peter Doyle, hats off to you. He's done another great film here. Lots of warm yellow green vibes, you know? Lots of those sort of vibes, as you can see. Very, quite an intense look. Um, and it works really well throughout the film. So um, I thought what would be quite fun is to just bring Peter Doyle's genius and see if I can replicate it on something that I've shot. So um, here's something that I shot of a girl on a tram. Um, so this is the footage we've got to work with. Um, and we want to put it in, you know, this this sort of world right so let's have a crack at it and see if we can we can nail it so starting off we'll just do some basic adjustments here expanding out the contrast and adding some saturation in i always add my saturation on another node just to keep things super clean add a little bit of purple in there and there we go that's looking like a fairly balanced image so let's have a play with this look so what do we notice um it's as i said before very warm so all these highlights here very nice and yellow the sky is looking quite greeny tinges of blue um i mean if we have a look at the vector scope here yeah that just confirms everything so you know barely nothing in this cyan blue segment pretty much all in the green and the yellows very yellow image so to uh, get this this image into the ballpark, let's just back to parade. Let's just start manipulating this color. Let's get those yellows. There we go. Yellowy, greeny. Swap back. Yeah. See, that's that's the ticket. That's the ticket there. Slightly less green, maybe. Cool. Uh, we might just balance that a wee bit out in the mid tones, just a touch. Okay. So, or, like already, you can see that like it does does definitely bring it into the world. It might be a little bit intense. There we go. That's that's a little better. Um, the other thing you might be able to notice is that with the Victor uh, the parade here, sorry. Um, you can see that we're not getting much past seven sixty eight. We wee bits of peaks here, but um, everything's substantially low in the highlight department you know it's sort of mid-range um in our image it's it's going to the top so what i would do let's create a new node and just scale this down let's just bring it back a wee bit see that's the contrast on her face there i'm starting to like that but i think the highlights are still a bit high so we'll grab a wee key here i think and we'll just blur that to heck and soften this key out a fair bit All right and we will just lower things down cool that started to look okay. I mean, there's a wee bit of fringing here. But there was a wee bit of fringing when we started, so it's fine for now. Um, another thing um, I mentioned before that there's a little bit of, you know, a wee bit of tinging of blue up here. It's like a really nicely textured sky. Um, so what we might do is we might just get our gang controls, just push it a little bit towards the bluey, bluey, cyany area. And something like about there is probably quite nice maybe it's a wee bit saturated let's just deset that a tad yeah so just bring that slight blue tinge i think helps helps sort of you know a nice bit of color contrast with the yellow and the tad of blue and the highlights so that's quite nice i think um another thing about the sky um as you can see here um, I'm not sure if you can see it with the compression, but there's a nice amount of grain in the highlights. Um, you can see that it 
doesn't affect the skin tones as much like the highlights are definitely more affected than the than the mid so to replicate that over here let's just see if we add some grain oh over here so let's add i normally go straight to film convert but today let's just use the default the default film grain cool so let's the way i like to do film grain is i like to just go full noise with it and then scale it the hell back so yeah that's something so um if we have a look if we study the film grain here um you know it's fairly medium size i guess um and it's quite fine so well, yeah wow well, so let's just first of all just take the saturation down um, and let's also take the texture down this is the main one so again just having a wee comparison I'll probably take the texture all the way down to zero yes um the grain size let's have a play so that's too thin i reckon maybe a little bit bigger i mean hell i mean i wouldn't maybe like the three point maybe the four mark maybe even a little bit higher maybe the five. Oh, there you go let's just go five shall we that looks pretty good um and now the grain strength let's just tone it all the way off back on back on let's see maybe maybe it doesn't be quite strong maybe about the seven and a half mark Yeah, I'd say maybe increase the grain size just a tad. Yeah, that's looking okay. That's looking comparable. Maybe a little bit bigger even. Maybe the texture needs to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's that's looking that's looking nice. I'm liking that. So how does that look everywhere else? Yeah, so it's a little bit strong. Um, especially in the mids and the shadows, it's quite intense. Like, I feel like you can't see that grain very much in the texture. It's mainly just in these highlights here. Um, so the way around that, um, I think, would be to just pull another wee highlight key. Um, so it mainly affects the... Let me just get my qualifier selected. Um, so it mainly gets the sky. And we can just have it nicely rolling off turn these guys off sweet and so we can just get it affecting a little bit of the soften the side even more there we go let's have a look at this so now if we toggle this on and off you'll see that we still get the nice grain on our highlights but if we toggle on and off here we're just seeing that it's subtly affecting some of the brighter portions of the skin but I mean, overall, I think that that's quite a nice, subtle use of grain. You've got to be subtle with grain. I mean, I could increase it to maybe to eight or so. But yeah, the, the the more subtle grain is the better. And, you know, that's a nice amount of detail to a somewhat blown out um, sky. So, hey, I'm happy with that. Um, okay, let's have a look at where we're at. Um, so... I think we're in a pretty close world right about now. I mean, if anything, we could go a wee bit more contrast up in here, I think. Um, which just helps add a little bit of saturation as well because it's looking a little bit desat. And, I mean, hey, I mean, I think that's a pretty good effort. I mean, we're definitely in the yellow world. If we want to see what we just did, let's just grab still here. Um, and take that off. I mean, as you can see, it's quite a strong look. Um, I just quite like it. Um, something about shooting with a DSLR, but it's quite nice to just take things down. And even this is a little bit um, high in comparison to what the Egypt Tomorrow one was. The Egypt Tomorrow's was sitting, you know, quite happily below 768. But I mean, you know, this is a nice inspired by look. Um, so let me know what you thought about that tutorial below. Um, I'm probably going to try to do these types of things more often because, I mean, I don't know, I found it quite fun. If there's any movies that you want me to break down or, you know, replicate a look for, let me know and I will get onto that. But 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Uh, I will catch you next time.